show you how to make tortillas or wraps, soft wraps. Once you've made these at home, I promise you, you will not want to buy them ever again. In here, I've got 250 grams of plain flour, all-purpose flour, and I've got five grams of sea salt, fine sea salt there. I'm going to put in some oil. Now, you don't have to add the oil to this. It can just be flour and water. But just by adding uh, 25 grams of, of oil to this recipe, you end up with really lovely soft tortillas. Um, and because of the fat in the oil, they do last a little bit longer before staling. And then I'm going to add 130 grams of water on top of that. So you've got 250 grams of flour and 155 grams of liquid. And it might need a splash more depending on your flour. So, you know, mix it in and see what you think. Flour absorbs water differently, so don't be too prescriptive in your use of water. It might just need a bit more. Oh, the olive oil smells gorgeous. Now, I've used extra virgin because that's what I have in the cupboard, um, but it will give it a, a flavour. So if you want it to be a bit more bland, you can use a light olive oil or a vegetable oil. Okay, so that's the sort of consistency you want. Nicely soft, not sticky, but soft and lovely. A little bit sticky, as I should say, at the minute. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it rest for at least sort of half an hour before we roll them out. And that will make sure that the flour fully absorbs the water. Okay, so what I want to do now is just give it a little quick knead in the bowl, just by rolling it round. Saves taking it out on the surface, so you don't have to wash your surface down all the time. Keeps everything in the bowl. I'm just holding the bowl with one hand and rolling the dough around the inside of the bowl. I'm just doing it for a minute or so, just to make sure everything's nicely mixed and just give the chance for a little bit of the gluten to develop. Cover it up and let it rest for about 30 minutes before I divide it. So this has been resting now for about half an hour. <clears throat> so I just want to put the flour on the work surface, scrape my dough out, so I'm going to cut it in half, cut it in half again, and then cut each, one's, each one of these in half. So to roll, start with a ball and move the dough a little bit with each roll so that you can end up with a nice circular tortilla. Doesn't matter if they're not circular, you know, don't beat yourself up about having something that doesn't look entirely like a circle. This is homemade food. It's not made in a factory. Okay, just a little bit more flour on that one. Just keep turning it each time you roll it. That way it should. Stay in a circle, but also you're making sure because you're lifting it off the surface that it's not gonna stick. And you can check to see if you need a little bit more flour each time. And the key is not to use too much flour because you want a nice soft tortilla that isn't too dry with the amount of flour that you've used in the rolling. And then you want to roll it nice and thin so it's almost translucent, bearing in mind the size of your pan, so you need it to be the size, this, you know, the surface area of your pan at maximum. So there you have a lovely tortilla, nice thin, and then onto the pan, and then you wait for it to change color. And there you see it's gone a slightly dark, like a more golden yellowy color now. And it's starting to puff up, at which point grab your ruched up tea towel and press down. And that forces the air through and it separates the layers of your tortilla. Okay, do the same on the other side. So that what you end up with then is a beautiful soft tortilla. Place it onto the plate that you've already have the other ones on, 
cover with a tea towel. That steam will make keep them nice and soft.